Oh, shit. I gotta get this camera. What's the hit this so button? Is it What's the hold up? Blinking. I'm paying you good money no. to shoot but this thing in this a professional thing. manner. Now oh, don't. Oh, 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 okay, all right. <clears throat> if you are watching this, then you know that I, Lucifer Morningstar, have resigned from my position as the ruler of hell. Although many of you surely see me as the archetypal purveyor of pain? What? That spell wrong in the no card? What, what'd I do? Bernie? What the hell is this? Archetypal? Come on, Bernie. I, the uh, Nun's Paradise Lost was, I don't know. Don't get mad. Ah, don't hurt me again. Don't hurt me again. Look, I'll, I'll do better. Uh, just don't fire me. I'm just another demon with a job to do, and, well, I... Satan? I'm gonna miss you guys. <laughs> but just in case some of you think I'm going soft, let me remind you that even though I may no longer rule hell, I will always rule your soul. Anywho, where was I? Ah, God, I can never read well in this room. Hey, um, uh, spent all our money on uh, Pentagram, and uh, you know, fog machine costs a lot of money to run. And well, I don't think we have any fixtures around here, but always oh, we... ah! torch somebody. Oh, that's better. Now, where was that? Oh, right, 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 right. My reasons for leaving home. Well. This decision of mine is ultimately concerned with one seemingly insignificant matter. Cartoons. See, cartoons are... Bernie. Yes? Cue the clip. Oh, shit. The clip. Wait. Bernie. The clip. The clip. Maybe I Bernie, if you do not no, start no, paying no. attention, I will this gouge one? out your <laughs> eyeballs and feed. Oh. You got it. Oh. Um, as I was saying, cartoons are troublesome by nature. See, cartoons are here because they are empty, meaningless representations of human thought and action, devoid of all virtue. They're kind of like twisted mirror images of humanity, distortedly reflecting reality in slightly humorous ways. But just like a reflection, cartoons are inherently worthless without a captive audience. Thus, once a cartoon's usefulness ends, it dies. And once a cartoon dies, it goes to hell. For most of my time here, they haven't been a problem because they haven't existed. And the few that have couldn't say anything because when they were created, audio hadn't been invented yet. But with the onset of the 20th century, cartoons started to be created and destroyed by the thousands. This fact alone would have no cause for alarm, yet these new cartoons could speak. When they speak, and I'm using the term speak very, very loosely here, when they speak, they manage to annoy every single individual around them. They are worthless. No, 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 no. They are much worse than worthless. They are a menace. The souls can't be properly tortured because they are distracted from their anguish by these saccharine theories of a name gibberish. And the torturers get so agitated that they start torturing the cartoons rather than the damned. But what has truly maddened me is that because cartoons are essentially mindless vessels for some ridiculously happy-go-lucky optimistic message about life and love and unicorns and candy, God, it makes me sick just thinking about them. It's like there's no rhyme or reason in hell anymore. And I just can't take it any... Oh no. What the? I'm not a I thought I sealed off the entire room. Bernie, <laughs> you're the worst producer I've ever had. So you're fired. Pun intended. <laughs> <sighs> that went so badly.
denizens must think I'm an idiot. So ridiculous. I really need to change the surrounding, change of friends. And for Pete's sake, a different job. Oh, oh.